Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from InternetRadioStation.com and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Sam Broadcaster. This will be a very short video. So what is Sam Broadcaster? Well, the acronym Sam stands for Streaming Audio Manager Broadcaster. It is an internet radio automation, playout, and an encoding system. Basically, Sam Broadcaster is a virtual radio studio within software. It mimics the hardware that you would see in traditional radio stations, but it does it via software. Sam Broadcaster offers a very extensive feature set, uh, which are beneficial to internet radio stations and also terrestrial traditional radio stations. And you're looking at the SAM Broadcaster graphical user interface and this is my particular layout. When you first install it, it won't look like this. Your windows will be arranged by SAM Broadcaster's default scheme, which you can change. SAM Broadcaster has three desktops. Desktop A, which you're looking at now. Desktop B and Desktop C. Sam Broadcaster is a Windows driven system and I don't mean Windows as far as Microsoft but if you look at this uh, link here at the very top you can pull this down and you have Windows that you can select. The ones that are checked here are the ones that are being displayed. For example I have a clock here, deck A, deck B encoders for example. I have a clock, deck A, deck B encoders. I also have voice effects, sound effects, voice tracking, request, statistic relays, playlists, history, and key, and also various windows that I've selected for my desktop A and desktop C. Sam has built-in mic processing logic, which is handled in the voice FX window. If you want to talk on air, you do so in the voice FX window here. The music and mic volume controls allow you to adjust the volume of any music that is playing whether it's on the primary decks or the auxiliary decks while you're talking as well as the volume of your microphones. It is recommended that you do not adjust these uh, settings. Voice tracking is something I'll get into in a later video but in a nutshell this allows you to make a recording on the fly and place whatever you record in your microphone down in your key and you can schedule that to be played. Sam Broadcaster also has a request system that allows your listeners to request a song and it would show those songs that have been requested in this window here. The queue is a list of songs that are coming up. Sam will always keep at least three songs in the queue. The history window shows a list of the last 200 songs played. While it only displays the last 200, Sam stores history records back to the beginning of the installation. You can use the history window to make sure that a DJ before you hasn't already played a song. The sound effects window uh, plays the sound effects as the name implies. Just click on a desired effect and it'll play. For example, I've clicked on applause. There it is. And you can click stop. We'll click this again. It stops. The playlist window lists all the songs in your music library. Uh, typically, programming people attempt to break up these songs by genre for browsing. But you can also search for a particular song or you can simply browse through all of the songs. The statistics relays windows shows you how many current listeners you've had over the past few minutes. There's also another rendition of this. It's a graph. I can show you that in my desktop C. Lower right hand corner there is a statistic relay graph. So what this is, this is just a graphical rendition of what you see right here. And so right here this would show the current listeners and say throughout the day it will show the peak. Let's say for example this was 20 and if this was 100 the 20 would tell me that there are 20 persons listening now. If this was 100 peak would mean that throughout the day I've had up to 100 persons who had listened currently. Looking up here at the top Sam Broadcaster has several modes. It has what's called the manual DJ mode. Uh, most DJs use SAM in manual mode and this only means that SAM will not automatically play songs back to back like it would during the day when no one is in the studio. Instead, the DJ must manually drag and drop files into the audio decks and play them manually. The auto DJ mode, SAM probably spends 97% of his time in the auto DJ mode. Uh, this means that SAM is automatically choosing music throughout the day 
and is automatically mixing songs together based on certain properties that you would set up in the studio. If we click on the config button here, this is where you would go into SAM to do your various configurations and I'll cover that in another video. And you'll become familiar with each and every component within SAM Broadcaster. But that's basically it about uh, SAM Broadcaster. In my opinion, SAM Broadcaster is the best system to use if you want to run an internet radio station. Uh, you could use Winamp, but as you can see, uh, Winamp is very limited. SAM Broadcaster has lots of features that make it very easy to automate your station. And as you can see here, I have Rip Radio Smooth Jazz, WRIP, and this is my software choice. SAM Broadcaster will cost you about uh, $299. That's SAM Broadcaster Pro, and it's worth every penny. It'll be one of the best investments that you make for your internet radio station. So that's it. I'm Ronnie J. Thank you for listening.